What's happening? Well, we were having a pillow fight. So Danny threw some pillows at me in the morning. So I threw some back a little bit later and Danny threw the last one. You see that light? It's gone. Did the whole thing come off? Carrie, why did you do that? Here, listen, grab that, grab hold of that and turn that on. See what happens. I'll stick it back together. Yeah. Put it back together. I don't reckon they'll notice. They won't notice so Just stick it there. I'll get a little fall on me. Perfect. Day 15 on the road. You cooked? Yeah. Had enough? Yeah. What's the thing that we hate about these rooms? They sound like an aircraft engine. Yeah. Every, the last four nights, we've seen hotel rooms where these things, they shit. Are they shit? They're shit. Now, tell me honestly, how good is that hat? Just take it off. Yeah. Is that the only hat you ever wear? Yeah. Ever. And you can wear it that way. Yeah. Like it's like a reversible jacket that way. Yeah. You can even wear it. Yeah, that's like gangbang. It's gangbanger style. Yeah. But have you noticed the shape it's kept? You've had this on every day. I oh, might have smashed it, thrashed it, and look at bashed it, look at it. it. Look at the condition. Let's bring yeah. it down. That's good. Yeah. Go to the merchandise shop. Just, these things are limited edition. They're going to be famous. Today we head to San Diego, then stay the night in San Diego, it's about seven or eight hours away, then, we, um, then we're two nights in LA, and then we fly home, and then the trip is done. So I'm gonna say, this, it's a motor lodge, and we're in, um, where are we, Harry? Uh, Flagstaff. We're in Flagstaff motor lodge, but this is, it's actually, when you think of motor lodge, you don't think of something that good. This is actually like five star. And I just want to show you some stuff because the whole setup is very, very cool. Like the pool. is stunning. But the restaurant where we ate, the food was amazing. These, these are all little... They're all little fire pits. What up, Harry? Okay, you go first. So this is it, this is our last big ride, seven or eight hours today, maybe longer, to San Diego. We stay there the night, then we make our way to Los Angeles, two nights in LA, and then we fly home. Let's go. I'm loving this one star accommodation. Bit of a helmet change, nice dry helmet. Okay, we're headed to a gas station. I'm out of fuel, just about. Let's go, Harry. San Diego, seven hours away. So we're gonna head past Mexicali, just near Mexico, the border. Get two, aren't it? Hey? Got to Tijuana. Hop into Tijuana. So I'm not going to wear that crappy helmet. I'm going to dry my helmet out. But in Arizona, you don't have to wear helmets. So until I cross the border, I'm going to put my bandana on, which I think is pretty cool. I know some people will think it's insane to ride without a helmet, but go to Sturgis. Most people aren't wearing one.
Thank you. See ya. Bye. Something different. You ready, Perry? Yeah. Mate, how cool is that place? Okay, back on the road, Jack. Got my little souvenir. In the middle of Hicksville, it is hot, it's got to be 40 degrees. Just getting changed, it's too hot. Kind of near Mexico, seeing a lot of Mexicans. I hope that's not racist, but. We're about 550 k's to go, a lot of it's desert, and it's um, close to 40 degrees already, it's only midday, so. Again, we're traveling at the perfect time of day, so. But you just gotta slip, slop, slap. Not crash and should be good. But I've always said it, and I know people, it's a debate, I think it's personal choice. Safety gear, some people roast to death, their cognitive ability is skew ift because they're so hot and fatigued. I'd rather be cool, and um, it's just my personal preference. Uh, there's no law saying that you have to wear protective gear, so. Um, it's just the way I am, you know, some people like it, some people don't. Um, uh, so, just the way it is. So I've hardly eaten any chocolate, but today it's so hot, I'm going to eat a Hershey's bar. Got a Red Bull, sugar free. And I've got... Huh? Yeah. And a... Mineral water, sugar free. <sighs> Notice the scenery change with all the um, cactuses in um, the desert. Like, where does it feel like we're in? Mexico. Yeah. Sort of getting close to the border. How hot do you reckon? It Notice is? how I spoke Mexican to the lady there. Hola. Yeah, mm, and? Yeah, she knew it. I know, and? You, I said gracias. Yeah, you speak a Spanish. We ordered so much stuff there, it was only $16 US. I tipped to four dollars US. Tell you what, how much you're getting ripped off as close as you go into LA. Yeah. Just Everything just keeps going up and up. Six bucks for a coffee. Uh, we should stay it's here. It's like ten bucks Australian, hey? We should stay here. It's gonna get seriously hot. I'll show you where we're headed. Mexicali. Basically follow the fence the other side of Mexico all the way to um, San Diego which is going to be brutal but we like brutal, we love the pain, embrace the pain, let's go
just pulled over, it's ridiculously hot. Hey, you gotta stop. Huh? It's waving. What? I feel lightheaded, I feel like I'm about to no. faint. I'm Don't worry about it. Stars. If you faint, if you faint, just hang on. Just give me a minute. I'm just I'm just having a seeing stars. Hey? Fuck, it's hot. I hardly touch the rubber. Oh, that might sick. Good fun, huh? Yeah. Oh. We're hardcore. What do you think? I'm thinking we go to tier one. Are you? I was just thinking that. Yeah, let's just do it. I was just it. thinking that. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, it's pretty much the next suburb. Yeah. We just cross the border and we can. Worst case scenario, we just leave the bikes there. Yeah? Are you in? Yeah. What's wrong? Oh, I heard a rattle, I thought it was a snake. <laughs> We're going to Tijuana. Head spins so hot. Vitamin water is what you need. Danny's just gone to grab a couple of drinks. He's got a fair way to go. What are you doing, mate? Hey, can you clear a penny up? Can you clear a penny? The reason we prepared all the water is because this stretch here It's all desert to a place called Yum, it's gonna be brutal. Like dangerously brutal, but we're going there, let's go. Break here.
All right, we've got the shot. The bitumen's just there. This is just a pullover. We're not taking the bikes off road, don't panic. Let's go. get the electrolytes in. Yeah. We need we needed to stop here. So nice. How hard is that? The scale of one to ten. Eight. Eight. I'm the eight. Yeah, I'm on a winch. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm giving it, getting it a nine and a half. How hot was it? You said forty two, but I reckon it's hotter than that. That's where we are. Near Mexicala, near the border, Tijuana. So we're gonna ride along the fence again. When you're on the road, you just become an animal. You don't care anymore. It's day 15 or 16. My GoPro clamp is about to snap again. It's all cracked. Piece of GoPro shit. Camera's good, but the clamps are crap.
Fuck. Are you wrecked? Yep. It's relentless. Oh. Can I do it? Can I do it? Look at my strength. Oh my god. The heat is just brutal. Yeah, swap here. Thanks. Is all that ice melted? Yeah. Harry's just filling up the ice water. First time this trip I've gone full strength because it's needed. The question is, is the um, Lowrider ST a touring bike? I guess 4,000, nearly 4,100 miles um, non-stop pretty much, I'm qualified to say. That it is 100% a touring bike except it's lighter than the big baggers. So shorter riders, I'm gonna call it. I would pick this over a bigger one. But um, yeah, it's, it's obviously filthy, I'll get it cleaned up, but I know a lot of people are fanatical about their bikes. They get one spec on it and they gotta clean it straight away. I ride it hard and when I'm done, I clean it. Let's go. Has there been any warning lights come on? Any issues with the bike? Nope, zero. Has it been ridden pretty hard? Yep. Um, and it's been ridden in extreme heat, 100 plus Fahrenheit, um, sitting on 80, 90 miles an hour, 95 miles an hour, um, non-stop hour after hour. And the bike um, is just been 100%. As my, low, as my low rider ST is, as my CVO, Road Glide is, as my Road King is. Um, so I'm good to go. The good thing is when me and David rode to Sturgis, Harley Corporate took the bikes to service them for us because we had already put 2,000 miles on them. This was basically brand new when I got it. If they've done 200 miles, now it's done nearly 4,200. So it's safe to say it's been broken in. Let's go.
fatigued from the extreme heat, how are the gale force cross winds? It's intense. We're not talking two peas or wigwams. That was intense. I've done that ride before actually. That's um, not for the faint hearted. That is a brutal, brutal ride. And um, that will, that takes you to the edge of insanity. Um, just, yeah, let's go. 1.6 k's. I've got a feeling I've stayed here before, the Wyndham. I think I had an issue with the doorman. Yep, it's the same hotel. I remember pulling up and the doorman, before I even got off the bike, tell me to move the bike. I said, well, I'm going to unpack those, mate. So, um, yeah, same hotel again. That blue one. $50 for parking overnight, thieving bastards. Mate, we did it. The hard riding is over. We made it. We did it. Yeah, we've got, we've got a night here, then two nights in Beverly Hills where we're gonna wine and dine and... 59. 59. Um, all right, let's just check in. 